So in this video, we're going to take a look at modeling the fixed jaw plate. Here's an example. Take a note of the intersecting channels there through the main body. And then also, we'll be adding hole wizard holes for the fasteners coming in through the main body of the machine vise. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so let's begin by selecting the front plane and creating a new sketch. I want to show my origin here and I want to use a center line to establish the mid plane on our face. Okay, and we'll continue with a sketch which will align to the bottom here with the origin and then we'll use some smart dimensions to constrain the dimensions. So let's start with an overall size of 2.50. We have a height here of 1.50. Uh, let's undo that. Let's make sure that our bottom edge here is coincident. So if we right click over it, let's select the midpoint and then use control and select the origin. We'll make the midpoint of that line and the origin coincident. Alright, now we can go back and change our dimension to 1.50 and now we can go ahead and make our base extrude. We'll send it towards the back and it's a thickness of 0 0.300. Now we'll go ahead and prepare to create our intersecting channels. Let's start first with the right plane and create a new sketch and then I'll get normal to that sketch. Now we need to create a channel that is 90 degrees and that it's about 1.5 or sorry 0.5 inches from the top here. So again let's start with a center line. I'll draw a horizontal center line here and then use smart dimension to measure from the top here to the center line a distance of 0 0.50. Now also the channel is going to be about 0 0.10 uh, deep so here's what I'll do. I'll pre-select the center line there, go to my sketch tools and turn on our dynamic mirror. I'll select line here and then start with the sketch to the edge coincident with the center line. Now I'll use a smart dimension to dimension from the front face to the vertex 0.1 inch and then we'll set the angle here to 45 equaling 90 as a mirror image and now we'll close our profile here Oh, sorry, we are doing just half. And let's get back into an ISO view here. Okay, now we're ready to do the cut extrude. And we'll do this as a mid plane extrusion. And all we need to do is make sure we penetrate the surface. Okay, and now we'll do something similar but using the top face here. We'll be able to create our profile and then cut extrude. So, actually we could even use the, the top plane there. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Let's select the top plane, create a new sketch, and let's get normal to that sketch. And once again, we can start with a center line. And now we'll draw, or let's activate the center line with our dynamic mirror. We'll start with the line here, coincident with the center line to the edge. And then back again, we could come back to the center line there to close it. And then we could use our smart dimension to select the vertex and the front face, set that to 0.1. And then we'll set the angle, one half the angle here, at 45. Now we're ready for the extrude cut. Let's go to features, we'll use extrude cut, and we should select the sketch we want to use. And here we could either do blind or up to surface, I'll do up to surface here. and click OK. So again, just a quick review here. You saw that earlier we did a mid-plane uh, cut. Here you can see we're doing up to surface, but you have all these other options uh, depending on your needs. We're going to do up to surface there, click OK, and finish those features. Now we're ready to create the sketch that will help us locate our holes. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn around, select the back face here. I'll go ahead and start a new sketch and then get normal to that sketch. Now I'm going to flip myself around just because I'm going to do my sketch circles this way. And I'll start with a circle. Actually, we can start with a center line so that we could mirror everything that we're doing. And I'll select the center line and activate dynamic mirror. I'll continue with a sketch circle and I'll establish the first one here and then use a smart dimension. Actually we don't really need to specify the dimension there since we're going to use it for sketch. So let me select it and convert it for construction as well as the other one. Alright, so what will be important here is the location of these sketch circles. So let's go ahead and use our smart dimension here and we'll set this at 0 0.750 from the top and then from the edge here once again to the center we have 0.450 all right, so that's going to be our location for our holes that are going to come in through the back there. And this will fasten our fixed jaw plate to the body. All right, let's close the sketch. And now we can turn our part around. And we're ready for the hole wizard. So let's go ahead and select the hole wizard here. And we're going, to do, we're going to do a straight tap. We're going to use 1032 as the size. And you can see here the length of it is uh, 0 0.5360. Again, what we have here is about 0.875 of thread coming through the body. And we might want to simply go through the entire surface here so we're going to select the surface and then take a look at the other options here so we're going to show the cosmetic thread with the thread callout and once you reviewed these settings here you can then switch over to your positions and now we're ready to place the holes so first let's just select the back face and then we can go ahead and snap to the centers of those sketch circles to place our hole wizard holes. When you're done with that, just click OK. All right, here they are.
now you're ready to apply material or uh, shade your part as you wish and continue with the technical drawing.